Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. the Huntington Jewish Center, two, three, and four-year-olds get a lesson in tradition. We have a weekly program for what's called our ECC, our Early Childhood Center, and each week we do a program which prepares them, gets them in the mood for the Sabbath, what we call Shabbat. Shabbat is simply the Hebrew word for Sabbath. Within their families, there are a range of observances. Some people who do more, some people who do less. We want to have them experience a Shabbat here. So it's not an intellectual experience. It's an experience where we hope they will uh, embrace. The whole world is waiting to sing the song of Shabbat. The when is Shabbat? For Jews, that begins at uh, sundown on Friday evening, and it ends a little bit after sundown on Saturday nights. It's longer than a regular 24-hour day, so it's closer to 25 hours. It sort of gives you a rhythm to the week, helps you pause, reflect, take time to rest, be with your family and friends, uh, and hopefully contemplate God and the world, and then get back to work the next day, helping to repair the world. Can you guys say, Bruchim? Habaim. That means welcome. So we're going to say welcome to all of our special guests today. We come in, we sit down, and we begin um, with the same songs always. The first three songs are always the same, which are just sort of fun, Shabbat, Sabbath-oriented songs. We then actually do the little traditional ritual practice, which is lighting the candles, which, which is the visual cue that Shabbat has started, the Sabbath. And then we make the blessing over the wine. We don't actually have any wine with an empty wine cup. But uh, the idea, again, is we always use wine to sanctify a day. We use that for Sabbath and festivals. And then uh, we have the challah, which is the bread, which is the other symbol that you're beginning the Sabbath for that Sabbath meal. OK, we have a great story this morning. It's called. A big, quiet house. Once or twice a month, we have a special guest who comes to read for us. Um, today it was the rabbi, who we like to think of as our spiritual um, and leader of our synagogue. Um, and the children know him. He's great. He gives out challah um, with the kids Friday morning. And he comes to read for us once a month. Shabbat for me is family and friends being together, thanking God for everything that we have and saying the prayers over the wine and in her case, grape juice. Just a great, great community, family gathering.